Hi, it's Jen here, and this is video two in talking about how selling is helping. I mentioned in video one that I'm going to be giving a chat in collaboration with my friend and colleague Dave in a few days at a, an event where we will be talking to aspiring entrepreneurs and small business owners. And we've been asked to talk about sales. So I would like to ask you to please listen to some of the concepts I'm going to be sharing and to please give me your ideas and comments of anything that you think that I should also include. It will be very helpful. So in my first video, talking about how selling is helping, we really focus on what is the focus of the person that is selling. Whether that be an idea, you're trying to get your husband to take you to out for Chinese food, or you're trying to sell a specific cream to another lady, or you would like to sell a service like marketing services. So the first focus should not be on the product or service that you're selling. The focus should be on the customer, client, or person you're trying to influence. And that is really, really the first step, is thinking, what are they thinking about? So after you have that focus shift, the next step is, how are you going to lead the sales dialogue? Now, leaving aside all the pleasantries and building rapport and just being using normal interpersonal skills, you're gonna to get to the point where you're sitting in a seller's situation and you would like to sell your idea. So instead of selling your idea or your product or service, what you wanna do is, if you wanna sell, don't tell. So that's a really, really famous saying. And what that means is, if you wanna sell, question. But that doesn't rhyme, so that's why, if you wanna sell, don't tell. So it's really important for you to think about the person that you're trying to influence or sell to and speculate what some of the outcomes that they are desiring or what are some of the needs that they might be wanting. Now, from that speculation, you can come up with a list of questions in order to validate your ideas and then leave a lot of room in that questioning for them to explain to you exactly what they want, what are the outcomes that they desire. And then after that, you can align your idea, your product, or your service according to what outcomes they want or what their needs are. So I'm gonna go back to the example that I gave in part one, which is the interior decoration. That you have sofas, you have side tables, you have lamps, but you're not focusing on those. You're thinking about the customer. The customer is going to be coming in or talking to you about something that they want. So what could that be? That could be they're thinking about furnishing a new home, or they're thinking about their old home that they would like to give a new look, or they wanna add pieces around uh, certain furniture items that already exist in their house. So, what is the best approach to do? Of course, ask them how they are doing and what they're looking for, but to ask them, what is your intention in coming in here? What is it that you would like to achieve? Are you thinking about refurnishing a new room? Um, what is it that you're looking to do? And then at that point, the person who you're talking to will start to give you ideas on what they wanna do. And maybe they'll just say, I'm looking around, but maybe they'll say, yes, I'd like to add some more warm colors in my room, or no, I'm looking for something wood. The most important thing is that you are taking the lead by not talking about your products or services, but really listening to what they have to say. So in the services industry, I find this to be a little bit easier. Let me give you an example of, let's say you are selling marketing services. So when you meet someone who is interested in adding marketing to their business or improving your marketing situation, the first thing you might wanna do is ask them, how are you marketing? Who are you marketing to? Are you tracking it? How are you tracking it? How is that working out for you? Have you ever used anyone else in marketing? What kind of marketing services did they offer to you? How did that turn out? And once you get all of this information, it will be a lot easier for you to once again, go back to your service and align it to what they told you. 
So step one is to focus, not focus on your product or service, but to focus on the customer. And that really takes a mindset shift. One of, I want to help. I don't want to sell. If you want to sell, don't tell. The second step is with that focus, is to ask a lot of questions in order to validate some of the outcomes or the needs or wants that you thought maybe they want or and leave space for them to also explain to you what outcomes, needs and wants that they have. And after that, it's really easy because you will be able to help and selling is helping. So I'm going to be giving that chat in about two days. I would really appreciate if you found some information missing, or you think that I should add some more to this, uh, this chat for this event, I'd be highly appreciative if you would leave some comments in the comment, comment box, and I bet I will definitely add it to my chat. So from now on, stay strong and happy selling.